With the Clippers winning both years, extended to a seventh game with one of those matchups. Here's Kawhi Leonard in the paint, and he scores. Mavs lost at home for the first time this year on Wednesday night to Toronto. They're 3-1 at American Airlines Center as Harden drills a three. And both games were played in the same building in Los Angeles. Clippers coming into the season talking about wanting to take the regular season a little bit more seriously. Ball alive as well are attempting to do so as the Clippers have a seven-point lead. Leonard looking for another hoop, and wow, what a start. Go back to this last possession. I'm seeing a, a different. Oh, yeah, nice right move now. there by Luka. I was going to say, they're, they're, the way they're guarding Luka has been really different than the last couple of years. We've seen you know, a switch. Yeah, we saw something similar in Denver with the three point line having to be repainted. Yep, good point. Yeah, last week when the Mavericks were there, we did find out that the three point line was not the appropriate dimensions. You got to make the adjustment. Tim Hardaway Jr. has been doing that as of late. Coming off an 18-point, or he averages 18. He's coming off a 17-point game. Oh, wow, Luca with a pass that caroms off the backboard. I don't think I've heard an effects mic pick up something quite like that before. Offensive rebound, three-pointer. Pass it off the backboard to another guy, swing it for a three. Pass it right off the effects mic, apparently. Leonard for three, and the Clippers seesaw back in front. Kawhi, excellent in the first quarter. As a junior, he averaged just over 12 points a game. Improved as a three-point shooter as Hart softly lays that runner. Zubac jostling for position down on the block with Dwight Powell. Pass out to Kawhi. Drive, kick, four to shoot. Harden rattles in a three-pointer. I think that's due to the Clippers attacking early and often getting to a pace type game, forcing the Mavs into some hard rotations. Dante Exum into the game. Story of the last couple of games, giving up offensive rebounds and paint points. Something that Mavs really had to take a look at and try to fix. But it's a good sign to see Kyrie get going from the outside, somewhere he's really been struggling. For comparison's sake, Kyrie is a 39% career three-point shooter. So that's a number that's going to head north. Like right now, with back-to-back, -back, Kyrie pulls up a transition. For what type of a player would you guys be looking for? It's really early, but, you know, physicality, someone that gives us some more physicality. Rebounding is always a plus. Working his way into the rotation. At five points and five rebounds, all of that coming in the fourth quarter the other night. Here's Jones, corner three. In 53 minutes, taking now seven shots for the floor in that time. In the paint, Luka, down he goes, and down goes the shot of the Mavericks with a 20-2 run. That is a fun nugget. That is fun with stats right there. Kyrie Irving, another three-pointer after the Clippers had scored coming out of a timeout. And here's Irving with another three-pointer made a moment ago, 14 points. And Dallas in front by seven. And here is Luka out from Beckford. He hits it. And they've already had a delay of game warning. Was that a second oh, delay of game? I'm, I'm going to go sure. probably slamming the ball. It goes above the head. And here's Derek Lively inside. Speaking of slamming the ball, Lively jams it home. The bounce. And it's Lively with the defensive board. Attack. Oh, oh, yeah. He got the attack and he scores. Dropping offensive production. Haven't really been able to find that rhythm again. Now here's Bones Highland. He'll lower his head and drive inside and score. I think you were on the team. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Devin, in, in, in the second half of the game, the Mavericks had a 30-1 to run against the Heat. I can recall, I think it was mostly in the fourth. Third and fourth quarter, Third a lot of quarter. Charlie Bill and Ueva yeah. going bones for three, and a long rebound to Jaden Hardy. It's a 1v2, although there's some support now on the break, but Hardy loses possession against James Harden, and Terrence Mann drains a three. We've seen the defensive energy with the Mavs picking up. I think it's a lot due to the challenge that Jason Kidd gave him after the game. And sometimes when you use choice words, a.k.a. saw, yes, that, that hits a, a nerve with a lot of players. Now it's been very responsible with the ball with only one. Down goes Kyrie, and the shot is on the money. No good for Kyrie. And now here is Russell Westbrook all the way down hill, and no foul. Bruce Bones Highland, an erratic player, but certainly one capable of going off, as we saw in this building almost one year ago. And 
here's Luka. Up and hitting a three. Norman Powell is scoring us down this year, four points a game. He averaged over 17 and a half points off the bench last year. Strangely enough, was nowhere near winning sixth man of the year. And down to the last 40 seconds of the first half. A drive into the paint. Luka got Diabate off his feet and stayed with the and scored. Differential of eight seconds. Harden around Lively to Diabate inside for the slam dunk. Offensive rebound, Terrence Mann. Clippers are playing small to start the third quarter with Mann on the floor rather than Zubats. And in a second chance situation, Kawhi hits a three. In the playoff series, Mavs were up really, really big in the first half. And the Clippers erased a 20 point lead, I want to say, in like three minutes. Well, that will help stop the erasing as Kyrie rattles in a three pointer. Up ahead, the advance pass by Jones to Luka. We see him making those advance passes frequently this year. He was on the receding end. From Lively, Luka inside. Jones still comes away with the ball despite the fact that the Kyrie alley oop pass clanged off the rim. Thought the Kai about is his lock pass. <laughs> Terrence Mann deflected into the backcourt, but it's picked up by Luka. George was using that off arm to try and ward him off. 0 for 6 for the floor for Paul George, and here's Luka with Luka right now. One more. Shoot it. And from near the hash mark, 42! And now he, there's just a little bit of jealousy there. But I, I, I will see. Oh. Oh. Jones Jr. in airplane mode finishes off a missed layup by Kyrie Irving. He's into double figures. Quick score by the Clippers. Tracking back. Stolen. And Lively recovers to swat that shot by Westbrook. Hardaway. Lob it. I mean, none of us expected last year to end the way that it did, and sometimes you just got to recalibrate. Four fouls on Lively. Dwight Powell is in the game. I wonder what the earliest time in a game is in the annals of Mavericks history. They've hit 100 points. It happened tonight with four and a half minutes, I think 4.31 to go in the third. And that is Paul George flipping it up strangely and in. He has 42 and counting tonight. He slings it to Josh Green. Josh Green the drive, and Green was the recipient of a kick out a moment ago. Well, they're shooting such a high percentage tonight. You know what I keep going back to, Devin, is the Clippers get the lob before the final preseason game. Paul George with just his third made basket tonight. For three, Paul George. Tip out rebound by Powell. One minute left in the third. Kawhi in the paint, and that is good with a foul. And Jay Kidd, how, how much longer does he play guys before he throws it? the talent? Well, here's Kyrie cutting to the basket and scoring. I, I don't think you'll see anything change with the Clippers. Accelerates up the floor. He's got Lively coming with him, but it's Hardy taking it to the cup. Down he goes. Did he get stepped on his foot? Kobe Brown runs the floor, and the up and under is good for Brown. Still trying to figure out it. It, it turns out you can overthrow him yep. too high, which is something that I could not do with, with Brandon Wright. Wright. The helicopter. I've tried multiple times. With Dana Larson and Brian Damaris. Slipping inside is Terrence Mann. Ball out to Kobe Brown. And Brown with a tough shot. Diabate with the tip in. 11 charges drawn this year going into tonight. Dallas leads the league in that category as Luka adds two more. Dwight Powell, and he draws contact and has his first basket of the game. You can't miss a second of Mavs Live, whether it's the pregame or the postgame, it's always good. Elbow J is good for Bones Highland. No final possessions in situations like this because of the point differential thing as it relates to the in-season tournament. And Denver dribbled out a possession at the end of the game last week. 